now student we are going to discuss question number 7.21 and in this question it is given to you a solid cylinder rolls up an inclined plane of angle of inclination 30 degree clear so let's suppose i am drawing here uh, just a minute yes let's suppose i am drawing here an inclined plane clear let's suppose this is an inclined plane clear and let's suppose this is making an angle theta like this clear here we have a solid cylinder so i can see here we have a solid cylinder this is important here it is given solid cylinder okay it rolls up an inclined plane of inclination 30 degree okay at the bottom of inclined plane center of mass having speed so we can say v center of mass this is given to you 5 meter per second okay fine how far will the cylinder how far will the cylinder go up the plane clear how far will the cylinder go up the plane clear so first of all if i am talking about kinetic energy of this cylinder so we can say because this cylinder is going from going on an inclined plane from bottom to top definitely it is having translational as well as the rotational kinetic energy yes or no so i can say here kinetic energy this is given by we can say half of m v center of mass whole square plus half of i omega square clear so actually what is our objective in this question our objective is very clear that cylinder how far will the cylinder go up the plane second how long will it take to return to the bottom clear so now we can say we can write like this 1 by 2 into half of m v c m square plus half of so we can say v m v c m square plus 1 by 2 i we can say moment of uh, inertia moment of inertia we can say here we have that is mr uh, we can say because this is solid cylinder for solid cylinder we can say this is mr square by 2 clear and omega we can write like this v c m divided by r whole square clear to everyone so from here we can write like this value of kinetic energy this is given by half m v center of mass whole square plus 1 by 4 m r square multiply v center of mass square and r square we can say this one and this one cancelled out clear so from here we can say total kinetic energy is given by 3 by 4 m v c m square clear so this is value of kinetic energy clear now let us try to understand first concept concept is very clear let's suppose i am taking here this is my reference clear so if i write here initial position at initial position we have kinetic energy 3 by 4 m v c m square clear and if i am talking about potential energy potential energy is zero clear but let's suppose i am saying here here we have total height height is given to you or not not okay fine so okay that's fine so let's suppose i'm saying this height we have h clear so if we are talking about k final clear so how far will the cylinder definitely when the cylinder is moving in upward direction and acceleration due to gravity and one component of acceleration due to gravity act in opposite direction so we can say final velocity or final kinetic energy we will get zero clear and if i am talking about u final definitely you can say u final is given by mgh clear so mgh clear now can we calculate value of h yes let's suppose i am assuming this distance covered is s clear so i can say we can calculate here sin 30 sin 30 equal to what h by s clear so s equal to what h by sin 30 so here we can say this is mg and we can say s upon sin 30 clear to you we can write like this mg h this one clear sin 30 sin 30 equal to h upon this one actually here we will write in multiplication clear so here you will get this mg mg or yes mg as sin 30 clear so now you can observe here initially we have only kinetic energy clear and after at reaching at the maximum height point or we can say after reaching certain after covering some distance its kinetic energy becomes zero but all kinetic energy because this is moving under the influence of 
gravitational force it means conservative force it means we can say all its kinetic energy is converting into potential energy clear so now we can write like this 3 by 4 m bcm whole square this should be equal to mg s and divided by 2 clear we can say m and m this one is cancelled out clear so so now we can say yes now we can see we can write like this 3 by 4th of vcm square this is given by 1 by 2 gs clear now what is first part in this question how far the cylinder go up the plane it means our objective here is to calculate value of s so s this is given by we can say this one is 2 so 3 by 2 we can say this is vcm square clear s s equal to what we can say 3 by 2 vcm square and it is divided by g clear so now we can write like this 3 by 2 multiply vcm so center of mass velocity given 5 so 5 multiply 5 i can divide with 10 i can say this is 2 clear so this is 15 by 4 clear to you this is 15 by 4 i can say 15 by 4 clear or directly we can say here we have a total distance 3 point uh, we have 3 left so 3.75 meter clear so total distance covered by this solid cylinder before coming to rest that is given by 3.75 meter part number b and in part number b it is given to you how long will it take to return to the bottom clear so now concentrate clear now listen carefully our objective in this question is to calculate total time taken to reach at the bottom again clear so now you can say let's suppose again if i am drawing here this inclined plane this is given to you 30 degree here we have a solid cylinder this solid cylinder is having certain center of mass velocity it is going up to a certain distance and again coming to this point clear so i can say we can calculate here total time like this first total time taken by this cylinder to move from point a to b and again total time taken from b to a clear and we can get our answer clear now you can say actually this solid cylinder is moving under the influence of gravitational force so so we can say that is constant acceleration it means we can apply equation of motion so first a to b listen carefully a to b a to b i am saying here uh, we can write here that final velocity final velocity i have zero clear if i am talking about initial velocity we have vcm clear minus let's suppose because that is going in an upward direction acceleration is actually acting in opposite direction or we can say here we have retardation so we can say this is at clear so from here we can say acceleration is given by vcm divided by t equation number one clear now we know total distance covered we assumed here that is s so i can also apply here second equation of motion or third equation of motion i can say here we have final velocity zero initial velocity given v center of mass whole square minus 2 a and distance covered is s clear so now from here we can write like this 2 a s this is given by v center of mass whole square clear so now we can say acceleration that is given by v center of mass whole square divided by twice s clear now we can say acceleration so if you are if you am talking about equation number one and two we can say equation one and two both are uh, left hand side is same it means we can say right hand side is also same so vcm divided by t this is equal to vcm square divided by twice s clear so one cm one vcm this is cancelled out so now what is value of uh, we can say time t so time t this one is given by 2s divided by vcm clear total distance covered we have already calculated 2.75 and vcm vcm is given this is 5 clear so now we can say if we multiply this one we can say uh, that becomes 0 we have 1 that is 15 and we can say 7.5 clear so 7.5 divided by 5 so we are having total time 1.5 second clear so this is what is the time 
Actually, this time is denotes total time taken by this sphere to move from point A to point B. Clear? But what is total time taken? What I am saying to you? If I am talking about total time taken, so total time taken this is given by TAB plus I can say TBA. Clear? It means uh, let's suppose this solid cylinder is taking total time 1.5 second when it is moving in an upward direction. So again it is going to the bottom with the same time. It means if I am talking about total time taken, total time taken will be 1.5 plus 1.5. So this will be 3 seconds. Clear? So this is all about this question.